Okay, internet. Today, what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're just going to put this 12 volt power outlet installed with my solar power battery system. To do that, we're gonna use this wire. This is an extension cable. We're gonna clip off one of the end of it and use the other end to connect to the battery. So let's open up the boxes and set this up. Okay, so now with everything unboxed, you can see this is our extension cable. It's pretty long. And this is our 12 volt DC socket. It's basically a car cigarette lighter port. And we, it has a cover and we can mount it wherever using these two holes. It is made out of plastic, which is pretty flexible. And it also comes with these screws. You're supposed to screw it to wherever you would put it in a car, but we're just going to put it on a table. Maybe we won't even screw it, we could use hot glue. But here we have our spade connector and a ring terminal for the positive. It has a tag here, basically what it says is it outputs 12 volts at 15 amps. It can input and output that much. We probably won't use it for that much, but we could use it for USB chargers, other things, kind of like that. As you can see, the cover just fell off, so I might need to secure that down better. But we do have it here, and we can put it on this desk so it can be mounted solid. Here is our extension lead, and this lead is 12 feet of wire and as we said before we are going to probably cut it off here and probably gonna leave it at the plug for now the reason i don't just clip it off at the end is because i would like to save the ends of these plugs i could use them later in some other circuit even if it's not 120 volts I'm going to wire this is the coat wire is positive and the one with the ridges is negative. So let's wire it up. This is 16 gauge wire. I don't know what this one is, but it appears to match just fine. So here I have the outlet and it's wired. The plug is pretty strong since I use wire nuts. Let's connect this to the battery which is currently located. The battery is currently located in the battery box over there. So it is a pretty long distance from there. here on this other side of the room. So let's wire that up and find a way to mount this to the desk. Okay, so here is our, our outlet hooked up now. Basically what I did is, you can see that the lighting in this room is, I am lighting this room with a LED light, which is right there. And that LED light goes into this inverter, which goes directly into the outlet. This is the small inverter that I have. You can see the plug comes out, and it just goes to this wire, which connects to a solar charge controller. And this is where the power is coming from. You can see that the sun is setting at this moment, 
So we are still getting some power, but that would just all be going to the inverter. And how it works is they're just wire nuts on this end of the load part of the charge controller. So you just get an outlet. This is basically just one of these outlets just coming off. Yes, this is from an extension cord, a 120 volt outlet. No, this is just 12 volts. It only gets to 120 volts once you get over here. And yes, they do use the same plug, so that might be a bit of an issue. But I do like this just because I just because I can add more stuff later with just simple connections using inexpensive parts. So next thing that we would need we would need to do for the system <coughs> would be to mount this somewhere as well as maybe at a switch or whatever. But that concludes this project for now. Obviously we still have quite a bit of extension cord. We can also just add no reason I can't just add another regular household extension cord in between these two pieces I modified. Of course, again, don't plug 120 volts into this, but I know that, so it should be fine. But I don't really want to expand this setup much more. I just have whatever stuff that I made. I really don't want to put any more money into this, so I think this project is about done. I, I have a bunch of more stuff, which I could add, including some wires, as well as course fans and just more outlets made of various components maybe I'll add one of these somewhere I don't know but see you in the next update